channel and today i'll discuss about azure certification path so previously i have created one video regarding aws certification path in 2021 which is almost similar to this uh, year but i have seen lot of videos uh, floating over internet and youtube uh, regarding azure certification path which are uh, partially correct not at all correct i think so i thought like why not to create a video on uh, azure certification path so uh, so that you could get a Uh, picture so this will not be a complete uh, video so here i will discuss only development and infrastructure part but specialty exam i will not discuss so if you are uh, if you need those those information please uh, comment me so that i can create one more video for the entire azure certification part so we'll talk about only here uh, development and uh, infra one infra and architect architect one so uh, so if we talk about the optional certification so azure has AZ 900, uh, DP 900, 100, AI 900, 100, this kind of 900 certification, which are basically optional and which are the easier one. And once you pass this exam, you'll get one star, one star certificate basically. And these are optional and these are free basically. So if you need to take uh, AZ 900, so this is basically a Microsoft Azure fundamental and easier one. And uh, you need to just join uh, their virtual training. and after completing the virtual training for 2 hours each day like 4 hours total you'll get a overall idea of the exam and you can take the exam they will give a, a free uh, voucher in your uh, registered email address so i'll definitely recommend it if you are just starting your journey just uh, complete any of the exam at least easy 900 this is for data so if you are working with uh, database or working with as a work your you are working as a data engineer your intention is to work for data engineer you can take that that as well even you can take both and ai is for artificial intelligence so if you are working with ai or ml machine learning so you can take this exam so these are the basic uh, like you know technical exam so people should take to understand the uh, proctor exam and how uh, microsoft uh, uh, take takes this uh, like online exam in azure so this is all about the fundamental exam which are optional now coming to associate which is the most difficult one uh, so we'll talk about only az104 and az204 for data we have a different exam so here once you pass this exam you will get two star but from my knowledge in this two uh, exam you need to basically uh, need your uh, at least 6 to 1 year hands on experience and at least 1 to 2 months of proper uh, so so for this fundamental you may need around 7 to 15 days of preparation but for associate level you need to have at least 1 to 2 months of complete preparation along with hands on so 104 is basically as your administrator 204 is for developer now here there is a different concept of developer like you know if you you need not to be a dot net developer you may be a dot net you may be a java or a python or a javascript developer so any developer is fine so once you are going through the material you can see uh, the same layer for uh, java also so the idea is uh, it is easier for dot net developer a bit Um, for .NET Core specifically, but uh, for .NET Core, but for all other developer, you can also take uh, like you know it's just uh, you you're, you need to integrate Azure service with your uh, programming language. So it's not a language specific. It it has a vast language support. So if you are a developer, do take this .NET Core, and if you are a non-developer, you can take this .NET Core. So for this exam, you may not get the voucher. So what you can do, you can you, if you are working in a service-based company. so you can check with your uh, email address to microsoft portal so most most probably you will get the free voucher otherwise for 204 they arrange a skill development program once in a while so if you join that program and complete a 204 you'll get a 204 voucher so somehow i'll give the link if i you know, currently there they, they don't have possibly so if there is any i will put out a link now you need to understand which uh, certification you take suppose you have taken one not uh, 900 which is optional and you are now associate level you are bit little, little bit confused so if you are uh, planning to do one more certification which is a expert level certification there uh, the tricky thing come so like you know you need i will recommend like which certification you need to take so that i uh, discuss in the last now coming to the 305 and 40 400 so people uh, will if you complete this 305 which is basically our architect uh, infrastructure architect and 400 is a devops devops specialist so you'll get like normally uh, this is a three star certification but you ca you cannot earn this three star certification until unless you uh, like you know complete the prerequisite i'll talk about that in later 
Now one more uh, is speciality. So Microsoft does have some speciality. So this is uh, exams. So it's about speciality. So in AZ 202, so this is for IoT uh, specialty exam. So they have a specialty exam for security, networking, SAP as well. So you can definitely check out if you're working with any of the uh, specific uh, domain. So this is all about speciality. Now the first question is whether uh, people can take any of the exam directly, whether there are prerequisites. There are no prerequisites. Even you can take 305 independently without taking any of the exam. But the problem will you will not get the three star. So to achieve three star, you need to go to a certification path that Microsoft recommends. So suppose uh, I am planning to go for, we'll talk about only Azure uh, Solution Architect and Azure DevOps uh, engineer here. So suppose, uh, for solution architect, the path is AZ900, which is optional. You can take it or you may skip it. So this is optional. First uh, exam that you need to appear. Then uh, for uh, this one, we have two options. Either you can go with uh, like, no. So for this one, we need to uh, complete AZ104. After 104, you need to take this 305. So this is a new exam. Uh, earlier it was uh, 303 and 304 now it is 104 and 305 so if you take these three or at least the last two then you will achieve three star like and you, you will be uh, called as azure uh, solution uh, architect expert so this is a complete path so first one is optional rest two are mandatory to achieve this three star but either of the exam you can take directly so if you take 104 directly, you will get a two star certificate. If you take AZ305, you will be uh, called as an Azure infrastructure, uh, like you, know, so you will get an infrastructure certificate, but not three star. Once you complete these two, you will be getting this three uh, star with this one, Azure Solution Architect Expert. Now, if you uh, plan to take a Azure DevOps Expert, so either you, you will go this way also, you uh, take this one, uh, AZ uh, 900 again this is uh, uh, not a mandatory one and you can uh, complete AZ 104 or AZ 204 anything is fine here uh, any of them is fine and then you can take this AZ uh, 400 so once you complete all these two certification at least you will be become Azure DevOps expert so either AZ 104 or 204 with AZ 400 so the idea is you can see AZ104 is common for both. So if even uh, your direct intention, intention is to become an architect or a DevOps expert, so I would recommend you don't take 204, take 104. Because if you take 104, you can directly take 305 and 400 after that. So you'll, be, you'll get two certificate with three star along with 104. But if you take 204 only, you'll be only eligible for DevOps. You will not be eligible for architect so that is a catch basically so you need to uh, uh, remember this one and one more thing uh, there are a lot of video are floating around saying like there are question and all so don't believe them so there is no lab as of now no lab uh, so all like I have discussed a lot of uh, in a lot of video around 104 so there will be uh, four or five types of question but there will be no lab as of now there will be case studies there will be multiple choice there will be multiple response there will be a hotspot that you need to select a certain draw there will be drag and drop areas but there is no lab and uh, around uh, 50 to 63 question i mean in some case 48 also that is depends on and for all exam the passing score is 700 so that is out of thousand you need to score 700 so that is all about uh, a small overview of azure certification path if you need a complete video i'll definitely create for Azure data and other one. Thank you.